Hey guys, it's Monica. Yeah, you heard that right, Monica. Stay tuned, you'll find out what that means. Anyways, I am deeply, deeply honored to do a collaboration video with a wonderful, wonderful YouTuber. And I'm sure many of you probably already know her, but if you don't, make sure you follow the link in the description below and go check out her channel. Anyways, her name is Marlene and her channel is Marlene Fab and Glam Over 50. And you guessed it, her channel is all about makeup. It's all all about style and you know, she does a lot of how-to tutorials she just shares so much I love her get ready with me videos that she does and she has the most glorious hair awesome awesome purple hair it's just fabulous so let me tell you a little bit about Marlene so Marlene says that she's a Jersey girl living in Central Florida. I happen to know that she's a school teacher and I believe she teaches sixth grade. So, and you know, if you know anything about teaching, you know that sixth grade is a tough, tough year. I taught sixth grade many years ago, so I can relate. But anyway, she lives in Central Florida and she says her heart or belongs in Vancouver, Washington. I believe her daughter lives there, maybe even her son, I'm not positive. But she has two children, she has a daughter-in-law, both her daughter and her daughter-in-law both have YouTube channels, so they're also into the makeup and tutorials and shopping and fashion and all of that. Marlene says she loves shopping, she loves shoes, fashion, and most of all, makeup. And she's been into makeup in one way or another since sometime in the early 70s. And you know what it really shows? Because if you go to her channel, she's got a ton of content and she knows what she's talking about. She's an extremely honest YouTuber. She reviews a product. She talks about how she really feels about the product. I really, really like that. Other than what you'll see on her channel, I happen to know that she got married on the beach. I saw her wedding picture. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. So she's a wonderful person. Make sure you check out the link below. And I'm deeply, deeply honored that we are doing this collaboration together. So it's really thrilling. And what we decided to do was seven questions. Seven questions about things that you don't know about me. And we had to have a good laugh because we said, well, maybe it should be seven questions about things they don't want to know about us. But anyways, um, we do have seven questions. And the first one is going to be a makeup horror story. <laughs> For me, that's pretty easy. It involves mascara. Some of you may have heard this story. But I was um, raised in an immigrant family and my parents have very old school values and are very, very strict. And I was not allowed makeup. I was not, we didn't even have a TV. I remember when we had to watch the Beatles, I had to go across the street because we didn't even have a TV. So very, very strict upbringing. And I was not allowed to wear makeup, but I got into mascara and, um, and I would sneak the mascara on and eyeliner and then I would go about my day. And then before I came home, I would wash it off. Well, one day I went fishing with my brother. We got our poles, we walked down the street, we went to the place we were fishing with another friend and I, sat there and I put on all my mascara and my eyeliner and I just did my eyes. They were like beautiful. And then my brother who was fishing out on the pier said, you know, um, he hauled out something like you gotta, you know, like when he was casting, I can't remember what he hauled. It was ha ha hollered out. It was sort of like duck or whatever. And so that was the, you know, the thing that we told everyone. So we'd put our heads down. So I put my heads down, my head down. And next thing I know is I just felt this horrible, horrible, pulling and I I was like I think I went into sort of shock immediately because I really didn't know what was being pulled and long story short my brother was yanking on it he thought his his hook had gotten stuck in a tree when it got stuck in my eye and I was too much in shock to be able to say hey 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 and it was the kid we were fishing with that all of a sudden started screaming oh my god oh my god don't cut her head off don't cut her head off <laughs> You know what it is. He used to cut a head off when the hook got stuck in a fish. Uh, but anyways, long story short, we ended up having to have an emergency trip to the hospital. I had a hook in my eye with a fresh worm that disappeared somehow. And all the black, all the makeup that I put on just was streaming down my face. My dad took one look at me and I thought, I was gonna be grounded for the rest of my life. Black, 12 years old, black streaks of makeup. So um, that's definitely the worst experience, horror story of makeup. Ugh, 
for sure. I survived it. I got punished and I kept my eyelid, which was really, really good. So the question number two, if I met you in real life, what would surprise me about you? So the thing that would surprise you about me if you met me in real life is that I am incredibly, incredibly shy. Those people that really know me know that. But people that don't know me that well, or they might see me on video, they might see me teaching a class or speaking, um, giving a lecture or anything of that nature, public speaking, which I've done, or leading our association, they would never, ever, ever say that I'm shy. But I'm actually that wallflower. I'm actually reserved and hung back and, and sometimes insecure about myself. And um, yeah, that would probably surprise you at exactly how shy I am. Question number three. Do you have a nickname? And if so, how did you get it? I started the video off by saying, hi, my name is Monica. Well, my name is really Monica. It is really not Monica. Monica is how all my American friends pronounce my name, but the true pronunciation of my, my name is Monica. And when I was little, my friends, my family all called me Moni. That was my nickname as a little girl. When I became a teenager, I had very long straight hair patted down the middle and I have a big nose. Um, so when I became a teenager, my mom started to call me Mona Lisa. And I think it was because of the hair and my big nose. But she used to call me Mona Lisa. And then in, um, when I was in my early 20s, at this time I was married and I had two children. I got married very young and I had my kids very young. Um, I was married, I had two kids, and my mom was probably watching Days of Our Lives. But she started to call me Fancy Face sometime in the 80s. And to this day, she still calls me Fancy Face. So... I don't know why she calls me Fancy Face, but if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see my mom sometimes leave us comment under my post and she'll say, hey, Fancy Face, or looking good today, Fancy Face, or something Fancy Face. So it's definitely my nickname. Number four, what do you enjoy doing the most when not working with, fan or, when not working or with family and that's not skincare or makeup related? I had to read these questions. And um, to me, that's really easy. If, if, um, if I can, I enjoy nothing better than to take a lovely, long, peaceful walk on the beach. I'm fortunate enough that I live within 30 minutes to the ocean or sometimes 20 minutes, depending on which beach I want to go to. And I'm lucky enough that I can explore our coast anytime I really want. And that's what I do. That's what makes me happy. I think water has always called my name. Being a child of an immigrant, I remember coming on a big, big boat to this new place called America. And I remember I was really scared, but it was with my mom and dad and my brother, and we were going on this big adventure. And when we arrived, I remember my greetings, welcome to America, was this nurse in this hallway, put this cold thing on my arm and stuck me with this big needle, and then I got a big scab that hurt. But that was my welcome to America. And... Um, I don't know why I'm talking about that, just because I'm thinking of ocean and, and water. But yeah, so back to the original question, I would definitely, definitely just enjoy nothing better than walking along the ocean or the water or even any of our lakes. I love that as well. Number five, favorite vacation. So when Jay and I got married, the, we went away for the weekend in Newport, Rhode Island, and we had a blast on our honeymoon weekend. But our official honeymoon was a couple of months later where we rented a 44-foot sailboat and with another couple, and we were our captain and crew. We didn't have any formal captain or formal crew, both Jay and the other couple, very experienced sailors. And we sailed for 10 days the Virgin Islands, both U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And that trip to this day was the best, best trip ever. I'm going to link a video about that up above, probably in a card or in the description. So yeah, that's hands down my favorite, favorite, favorite vacation. Six, question number six, are you a PC or a Mac? So what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> if you haven't guessed it, I am definitely a Mac girl all the way. I have an iPad. I have an iPod. I have an iPhone and I have a MacBook Pro. So I am definitely, definitely a Mac person all the way. And um, I used to be PC years ago, but I don't think I'd ever go back to that. I love my, love my Mac. Number seven, how many pairs of shoes? Now I know, I know without a doubt Marlene is gonna beat me in this category for sure. But I decided to look at this in three ways. First of all, I'm not counting flip-flops because they're not really shoes, they're flip-flops, right? 
and I'm not going to count my sneakers because they're sneakers and I certainly am not going to count my boots. I live in New England. I have a lot of boots. So just shoes and just the shoes that are in my house, not the ones that are in my motorhome, just shoes. I have, don't tell my husband, 38 pairs of shoes. Shh. But I probably only wear like four or five. So I think it's time to get another bag together for Goodwill. So that's the seven things you probably never really cared to know about me. And if you survived to the very end of the video watching this, thank you, thank you so much. I hope it wasn't terribly boring. Please make sure you check out and you, you follow the link and you go visit Marlene and watch her video. And if you haven't subscribed to her channel, subscribe, like, and comment. She's an awesome, awesome YouTuber. If you don't know her, you were definitely going to be in for a treat. And uh, if you're new here, if you're hopping over from her channel, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I would truly, truly appreciate it. And if you are my favorite loyal people, my YouTube friends, the folks that always watch my videos and always comment, I just want to tell you thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate all your support. Every comment you leave, every like, every time you watch a video, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching the entire video. How awesome is that? Wow. Have a great day. Bye guys.